Hello everyone, Jaken here. Today I am going to be showing you how to install Daemon Tools Lite, which is the free edition. So you can mount your ISO files or your other disk image files to make pretend they're a CD in Windows 7. Windows 8 has this functionality enabled by default part of the operating system but Windows 7 does not. So first you're going to need to go to this site which I'm going to put the link in the description as you'll see below and you just want to hit this little download button there. Now I've already downloaded mine so here it is here and you just want to run the executable so click on that and it'll pop up with a little window anytime soon. You want to run the file So, English is my language, so I'm going to select English, press next, I agree to this, read it, do you reckon anyone actually reads them? I don't think so, and hit agree, free license. This SPTD 1.83, you don't really need it, so it doesn't matter, well I don't need it, so hopefully you don't need it, press next. You do not want to make Babylon your default search engine as it's really annoying and you don't want the toolbar. You press no. You also want to not do that. Don't allow and install. Now once this is installed you will be able to mount your ISO files or disk image files as a CD. So your computer will recognize all these files as a CD. As you can see, installing driver virtual CD-ROM device successfully installed. I do not want to install the gadget and I want to run the daemon tools. Now, now that you've got Daemon Tools up and running, you may want to add an ISO image to your thing. So find wherever you've got an ISO image, which I've got some in here. And as you can see, I can mount any of these I want to mount. So if I go OK, and then if I click here, press Mount, there it is. Now if I open Windows Explorer, as you can see, there's the Ubuntu disk and run like it's a CD. So it's as easy as that. Once you add your ISO file to here, you just select the ISO, press mount, it'll mount your image. I need to give it a minute and there you go, mount it. Simple as that. You can unmount by pressing the stop button, you can add more devices which I don't really want to do. And that's basically it. Alright, so I hope you enjoy mounting your ISO files to Windows 7. And don't forget, like and subscribe. And if you've found any other um, software to mount that you think's good, let me know in the comments section. Okay, see you later.